Now we're going to go to Revolve. So double click on Revolve. And we'll scroll down here. It says we're going to create the following sketch geometry with the dimensions shown. So we're going to use a Revolve. That means we're going to make a circular part of some type. And we need a Revolve axis for our circle. So back to Inventor. Make sure you save this part. And then I'm going to start a new one. So I'll go to the home. Now select part. And start 2D sketch. And we'll go with the XY plane again. If you choose the other one, it's fine. And we'll put this in the middle. And I'm going to first draw a construction line for the axis. So I'm just going to do turn on the construction line tool. I'm going to start a line. And I'm going to draw, I'm not going to draw this one on the, the uh, Y axis. Just so you can see it, I'm going to draw it off to the side. You can do that too. Now I have this construction line right here, and I'm going to use that as my revolving axis. Now, regular line. So I just turned off construction line. I'm going to turn on regular line, and I'm going to draw a straight line here. And I didn't dimension that, but I will now. I'll, I'll just put, oops, I'll put a dimension on that of 1.5 inches. I'll scroll out just so I can see the thing. There we go. And my my X, my uh, line here doesn't move, doesn't go all the way down, but I can move it if I want. Right there is good. Good enough anyways. Um, I'm going to make sure that this vertical line that I just drew is half an inch off of the uh, construction line. And before I even do anything with that, I'm going to fix the construction line in place. So that way it doesn't move. Now dimension from the construction line to that line. Click. I think that dimension is supposed to be 0.5 inches. It is. Now I'll go back to my regular line tool. And I'll start here at the top. And I'm just going to draw in this angle. I'm going to come straight down and draw to the end of that line. And I'll put some dimensions on here. So from here to here, this is supposed to be 0.25. And this line right here is supposed to be one inch long. <coughs> Excuse me. And this length here is supposed to be 0.35. You want to click on that. And I bring it up. And you'll notice that this dimension is at an angle. It's what's called aligned. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose the word aligned. And then I'm going to put in 0.25 as that distance. And that was inconvenient. So I'll undo that. Um, let's try the bottom one first. So I'll dimension that one. Well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to use a constraint here. I'm going to say that this guy here and this guy here. Nope, won't do that. Hold on a second. Okay, so I was messing around with this a little bit, um, but it's really not worth fighting over. I'm going to change this dimension to 0.35, and then we're just going to leave it alone. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'll zoom out so we can see this here. And I'm going to use the Revolve tool. And the first thing I want us to know is, what's the profile I'm going to revolve? And it kind of defaulted to that because this is the only profile on the drawing. Then it wants me to choose the axis. So I'm going to select axis. And I'm going to come out and pick on my construction line. And you'll see this thing uh, up here. I can change, by the way, the uh, amount of this thing. So if I want this to only be 90 degrees, I can make it 90 degrees. I can make it uh, 
180 or whatever I want, but in this instance, I'm going to make it full and I'll say okay. So that is the revolve part. 